welcome back to my YouTube channel, thank you for watching. So today I have created for you a holiday inspired makeup tutorial. Um, I've recently been away to the Maldives on holiday and I wore this a few times and a few of you have asked me to recreate it so I've done that for you guys. Um, it's really quick and simple, well, I think so anyway, um, kind of look for when you are away on holiday and I've kind of decided that it's easier to kind of talk you guys through it so I, yeah, let me know if you guys like this way. It makes the videos a little bit longer so I'm sorry if I rambled on but yeah I just wanted to kind of explain the step by steps to you um, yeah so I really hope you enjoy watching so before I started filming I used my Murad day what was it perfecting day cream um, this one's got SPF 30 in it so obviously it's perfect when you're away on holiday because you get that extra sun protection um, even in the evenings obviously there's still a lot of sunshine so yeah and this one's a really good face moisturizer I use it every single day even in England so I recommend that one and then I use my hangover uh, Too Faced hangover primer which is amazing I've literally it's almost finished now I've used so much of it it basically contains coconut water so it's like really hydrating um, and yeah I just love it I love the way it feels on my skin I use it even if I'm not wearing any makeup um, yeah so I would really recommend that if you're after like let's say you suffer from quite dry skin I think that this would be a really good primer for you and then obviously I have filled in my eyebrows with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown I think it is and just clean them up with some concealer um, and then I move on to foundation so I'm going to use my bourgeois um, healthy mix in what one am I going to use I think I might use my dark beige one because we're going for a holiday look so actually I'm going to mix the beige and the dark beige because I feel like it gives a really nice color So I'm just going to use my beauty blender and blend that all in. I am actually going to put a little bit over my eyelids because I'm not using any primer or anything like that because obviously we're just on holiday so we're essentially wanting it to be slightly faster makeup than normal. This might sound a bit odd, but the best thing about this foundation is it stays quite dewy looking um, throughout the day. So, I mean, I like that look anyway. If you like a really matte finish, then this foundation you probably will find is a little bit shiny for you. But, I mean, I like it because I like my face to almost like give a, have a bit of life to it. Um, so, it's really good when you're on holiday because obviously you're not going to be completely sweat free on your face. Or if you're me anyway, because I just, I don't know, apparently when I'm away, I just tend to sweat from every place on my body. <laughs> so. Um, this foundation is really good because it, it kind of just works well with the heat and it just keeps your face looking dewy and yeah I just really like the way it looks when I'm away on holiday so now I've applied my foundation I'm going to move on to concealer so I'm going to use my two NARS uh, what they're called radiant creamy concealers as always um, so I'm going to use my custard and vanilla so I'm going to pop some custard under my eye and on my chin and just about up here. Now although this may still look like a lot, this is actually a lot less than I would normally use because obviously we're on holiday. So uh, I try and tone down the makeup a little bit but I just enjoy doing it so I still wear a little bit more than I probably, than normal people on holiday, let's put it that way. Uh, then I'm gonna use vanilla just to put in the areas that I want, just some highlight. And I'm going to blend that in. Another product that I still love to use while I'm away is my LA Girl Concealer um, in Beautiful Bronze for my contour, just because I feel like when you're away on holiday, it's quite hard to get your face to match the rest of your body, especially if it's towards the end. And I feel like if you use a cream contour product, it helps to bring the color back into your face. Then I'm gonna put a bit on my forehead. and use whatever product's left just to contour my chin. So as you can see, it's just kind of given my face a bit more of a tan look. Um, obviously, I will probably end up covering it in bronzer because that's just me anyway, but I just feel like it gives the, as I say, face a little bit more color. Um, and then I'm gonna use my, the actual product just to contour my nose. And then some vanilla creamy concealer to highlight my nose. 
Then moving on to face powder, I'm going to use my NARS translucent powder to set my makeup but not too much because I feel like, as I say, I want to leave the foundation quite dewy um, and also when I use a highlighter I feel like if I set the areas with powder then the highlighter goes kind of like sits on top and goes a bit like crusty almost so it's quite important that if you want to use a lot of highlighter then try to avoid putting powder over those areas and you'll find that your highlighter looks a lot more sort of like seamless and doesn't kind of I mean you guys probably know what I mean we've all been there when you've put highlighter on it sort of like it creates like a line and doesn't really blend into everything else so yeah so I'm gonna set the bits that I get really shiny so that's my chin and my upper lip which on holiday just decides to be the sweatiest place on my body <laughs> and then just where I popped my under eye concealer and down that kind of section of my nose as well tends to get a little bit shiny. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit on my forehead. So as you can see I barely used any powder at all because I just kind of like to lightly dust it. Um, and also I find with the NARS um, this is quite, actually this is quite a good point. The NARS translucent powder, basically, a lot of people I think they find that it can look like too white on their face, and I think that basically happens when you put too much on. Um, it's also a risky product, especially on holiday at night time when there's going to be like flash photography, because sometimes if you and we've all been there, believe me, I've been there. Um, when you've popped too much product under your eyes, you take a picture with flash and you're left with like white under your eyes. Um, and basically that's just too much product that's been popped on that you kind of can't really see. But then when there's a flash picture, it comes out really clearly. It also helps to get a brush that's not too like packed together. So I use this one from Iconic London. It's just really soft and fluffy. It's kind of um, quite loose, I suppose you could explain it like that. So I'll pop some product on and then tap it off so there's not too much on the brush. Um, and then apply it to my face and I feel like that helps to stop that kind of like powder look as such uh, right so then moving on to highlight I'm obviously using my Topshop glow pot in gleam and I feel like highlight really comes into its own when you're on holiday because you can kind of go a little bit crazy with it and use more than you maybe would in England because you know you're on holiday and you go for that kind of like golden goddess look um, so yeah just have some fun with it and just you know use a little bit more than you probably would um, so I'm just going to pop that in the places it goes and so as you can see that blends like really easily basically because I'm essentially blending it on top of still kind of wet foundation in, in a way um, and obviously the foundation isn't still like wet on my face but there's no um, powder or anything over the top of it so it kind of blends in with the product rather than just sitting on top of it um, and then I'm going to apply a little bit on the end of my nose and actually I'm going to use a brush for that I'm going to pop some bit on my brow bone and then I'm going to set all of well set I say set I basically mean just make it all go super cray cray and just extra highlighty um, I'm going to use my champagne pop uh, highlighter and just pop it over the top of all that highlight I read somewhere once on Twitter that if you're not wearing enough highlight, if you can't see a highlighter from space, then you're not wearing enough highlighter. So just keep going, really. When you think you've got enough on, just add a bit more. Especially in pictures, like I just love. I'm always like from the side, like, oh, make sure you get my highlight in the photo. <laughs> um, right, next, um, I'm going to use some MAC Give Me Sun bronzer. And again on holiday I feel like you can kind of be a little bit careless with your bronzer than maybe normal because um, you want to look tanned you know you can kind of go for that bronze look more it's more acceptable anyway I probably still do in the UK but hey ho that's just me so 
and now we have made ourselves look super tanned um i'm gonna move on to my eyes um for this i'm not really gonna actually use any eyeshadow as such i'm gonna use the bronzer um the matte give me some bronzer and a fluffy blending brush and i'm just gonna use it to go in my crease um for really no apparent reason apart from the fact that i kind of like the way it looks i feel like it makes the rest of it blends in with the rest of your face then and it just kind of gives that little like bit of color to the socket and it's super quick when you're on holiday as well so yeah so that's all i'm going to do to my eyes and then for eyelashes i am going to use um the velour lashes i think they're called wisp me away and i will link them below so i'm just going to pop those ones on for you all no but first i'm going to apply a little bit of mascara let's not be a rookie mistake and not put that on first so I've applied the wispy, I think the wispy away lashes, so as you can see they're super natural, um, really good for holidays, so you don't want anything too heavy. And then I'm just going to use this super skinny eye marker from NYX, just to kind of fill in the um, inner corner, just to attach, attach, that's not really what I want to say, connect like the eyelash to um, your lash line. I think that's quite a nice finish when you are just wearing eyelashes and no like eyeliner or eyeshadow or anything like that just to kind of fill in that bit just so it all kind of looks seamless and you don't end up like looking like your eyelashes hanging off or anything like that. Um, so then the other thing I think I might to do is just apply a little bit of eyelash, uh, eyelash, a little bit of eyelash, no, a little bit of mascara to my bottom lashes. So that is basically the eyes done. I might just do some inner uh, eye. Bleh, what am I going to call it? Inner corner, inner eye highlight. That's what I'm going to call it. Um, so I'm just using the brush that had Topshop Glow Pot on it. Just using whatever's left on there, and then getting a pencil brush and using some champagne pot over the top of it. So that is basically everything I'm going to do to my face. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is apply some lipstick. I think that when I'm on holiday, I mean I wear nude pretty much every single day of my life, but I think when I'm on holiday it's quite nice to kind of add a bit of colour as I feel like when you're tanned, the colour that I use especially just looks so great when you're on holiday. So um, the combination is, so I'm going to use a uh, Max Factor lip liner in Red Rush, but essentially, I mean this isn't the essential because you can use any red lip liner you like, um, but basically the combination is uh, Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Lip Lipstick, I think it is, it's basically a liquid lipstick, in... Uh, um, what colour is it? Red Passion. Pretty sure it's like the only red they do, so you can't get it wrong. And then over the top of it, I use MAC Lady Danger, and this just brightens it up so much. It just makes such a nice red. I literally am obsessed with it. So, yeah, so let's go ahead and pop it on. I think that lip liner when you're wearing red lipstick is just so important, is it kind of helps to make sure because red lipstick if you get it wrong it can look so bad so if you use a lip liner it kind of helps to basically make it look really good every time um, so then I'm going to apply the liquid lipstick so you just want to let that one dry just a little bit just before we apply the other colour so now that that is dry I'm just going to pop some Lady Danger on top I like to kind of just blend it around using my finger so as you can see, it just makes a red super, super bright, bright, vibrant. I tried to say them both then. Super bright. Um, and yeah, I just absolutely love it when I'm on holiday. I think it just creates such a nice makeup look. So there we go, guys. That is the finished makeup look. As you can see, it's really quick and simple. Um, yeah, okay, it might still be a lot of makeup for a holiday, but I like to get a bit glammed up in the evenings. And this is, for me like a quick makeup look so i really hope that you guys enjoyed watching and recreate this on any holidays that you are maybe going on this well in the near future or summer or whatever um if you do recreate it tag me in it on any social media post you put up because i'd love to see um but thank you so much for watching give the video a thumbs up if you've liked it and i'll see you all in my next one bye